I would like to briefly talk about Rose diseases. There are gonna be four categories I'm gonna cover, fungal diseases, virus, bacteria diseases, and insect damage. Let's first start talking about the fungal pathogens. So one of really important and very common fungal pathogen is black spot disease. It is very important, but fortunately it does not kill the plants. It only causes the loss of leaves, but at the same time, it's gonna stress a plant and it make it very susceptible to all other fungal diseases. Over time, it's gonna weaken the plants and the plants will be very vulnerable to all the other injuries and the diseases. So the symptoms, if you look at this photo, you can see the black spot is around one and a half in diameter and mostly on the top side of the leaf. Over time, the leaf will turn to be yellow and eventually it will drop on the ground. So it usually causes the leaves to drop prematurely and the symptom will progress from bottom to up. Another disease that uh, are very similar with black spot disease is anthracnose. I know we talk about anthracnose for many times due to the recent weather and uh, thanks to the wet and the cool condition. So we have a lot of anthracnose disease reported. And you can tell that based on the symptoms, they, in contrast to the black spot disease with the black spot kind of like a fuzzy edge, for anthracnose, the edge of the leaf spot are very smooth. And in the middle, you can see that they have really dry center. Some people call that a shot hole. So this is a very typical symptom for anthracnose. To control the anthracnose, actually, for the two leaf spot disease, anthracnose and black spot, the disease management methods are very similar. Sanitation is a key. So you have to remove the dropping leaves and infect the branch as soon as possible. You can keep the leaf dry by not using the overhead irrigation because sometimes the rain splash and irrigation splash will cause the transmission of the fungal spores. If you really want to use the fungicide, uh, make sure to use the fungicide that can are uh, labeled for both leaf diseases. Another fungal pathogen is canker diseases such as stem canker or dieback disease. They can be caused by different fungal pathogens, such as the Bochetferia, Leptospheria, and other diseases. And those fungi can infect the plant by those openings, by the injuries, such as winter injury, improper pruning, or wind injury, or flowering cutting. And the canker can enlarge over time and spread to different canes. And eventually, it may kill the plants. So anomaly, those canker can occur on those stress plants. Therefore, keep the plant in the optimum condition is the best way to control this disease and only prune the plants when it is necessary and prune properly. Make sure to clean the cutting tools every time you switch to different plants so that you will avoid the transmission of the fungal pathogen from plant to plant. Avoid unnecessary injury for the plants also. The last fungal pathogen we're going to talk about, the powder mildew, probably many people have already seen that. It's everywhere. I actually saw that in front of our building. It's not hard to identify, but it can be a very serious problem for the roses. You can see those gray or whitish colored powdery substances on the surface of the leaf. Over time, it will cause the whole leaf kind of turn to be distorted and curly, and finally it will drop. To control powder mildew, sanitation is still very important. You can also pick some resistant variety that are resistant to this disease. And if you wanted to use a chemical method, remember to use fungicide. It can control both powder mildew as well as the leaf spots. Now let's switch the gear and talk about the viral disease or the rose. So the first disease is rose rosac disease. And the symptom of this disease actually really diagnostic and characteristic. You can see the proliferation of the growth of the plant material in the terminal and all those top that turn to be very reddish. And this disease was caused by one uh, virus called a rose rosic virus. They were transmitted by an insect called the rose leaf curl mite. It's a very tiny insect. You can hardly see this through your naked eyes. You will need a microscope to look at them, and they are uh, area mites, and they cause actually very little damage to the plants, but they can transmit the virus to the rose. 
And over time, the symptom can progress within two to three months, causing abnormal growth of the top end. Sometimes the king can be turned to be very thicker than the normal growth. Of course, by looking at those symptoms, it kind of sometimes can be confused with winter injury or some new growth can be very red. And you may think, oh, what if this is Rosac virus? So if you have any question or photo you want to share with us, our diagnostic lab staff and also horticulture special are available to help you. Another viral disease Oh, this is actually the photo we see early this year. The, the, the client actually inquired about whether it's associated with rose rose virus. It actually early this year, too early for the uh, aerophy mites. And also you can tell some new growths of the leaf are, are also very red, which resemble the symptom of the rose rose disease. And we consider this case is not rose rose virus and we ask a client to continue monitor the growth of the plants. Another viral disease of rose is rose mosaic disease. This disease are actually caused by a group of mosaic viruses. And the symptoms are first, the whole plant will be very kind of like a dwarfing, very short, and uh, you will see the discolored area on the leaf, kind of like a mottling uh, symptoms. It's really, really characteristic, but it can also be confused with uh, herbicide damage, which is shown in this photo. For viral disease, it is hard to control. There's no cure to save the plant. You have to discard them as soon as possible. The only way you can control is the insect, because some insect can be the vector for the virus. After virus, let's talk about bacterial disease. There are one important bacterial disease is called Krongal disease. This bacteria is agrobacteria, normally cause really kind of like tumor-like structure of the rose on the main stem or close to a soil line. And those structures are kind of like irregular shape. And sometimes it can be mainly under the soil line without, I mean, you cannot even see that. To control this disease, prevention is, the, I would say, this beginning to try to use the infection or disease-free plants and also try to uh, remove the plants infected with the crown gall together with the soil. Do not use the soil or plant tissue for the compost. So that's for the bacteria disease. The last is the insect damage for rose. And there are several different uh, insects can cause injury for the rose. And the Japanese beetles, the scales, and we actually talk about spider mite lately because uh, we have lots of uh, a report and the increase of spider mite. Also aphids and the thrips are also very common factor for some specific virus disease. So if you have any question for insect damage as well as any fungal bacteria virus disease for roses, uh, let us know and the, the MU Plant Diagnostic Clinic are available and open all week except the weekend and to help you and feel free to send photos to us. Thank you.